Welcome to this edition of the UNA Week in Review presented by Lions HR. Men's basketball downs Huntington, and the UNA football team is one win away from a national championship. Find out more right after this. What would you do with an extra two to three hours per day? Would it surprise you to know that the average small business owner spends more than 30% of his or her time on issues related to human resources? At Lions HR, we've helped hundreds of business owners lower their employment costs while giving them back the time they spend on such things as hiring and training the right employees, sourcing affordable employee benefit plans, providing the right workers' compensation insurance, developing effective workplace safety plans and employee retention strategies. You can take back the two to three hours per day you're spending on all these things. Contact Lions HR and let us show you how. Gentlemen, I'm from Kansas City. Hey! 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 Coach Wallace, I want you to bring these champions to Kansas City next week. Hey! After 21 seasons, the University of North Alabama will play for a football national championship. The Lions defeated Shepard 23-13 in the semifinal round of the NCAA Division II football playoffs to advance the program's fifth title game. UNA will play top-ranked and defending national champion Northwest Missouri State this Saturday at 3 p.m. at Children's Mercy Park in Kansas City, Kansas. The game will be televised live on ESPN2. The two teams represent the winningest programs in Division II history, including a combined 42 playoff appearances, 15 championship game appearances, and eight national titles. Tickets can be purchased through Ticketmaster.com or through a link at Roarlines.com. UNA advanced to the title game by limiting a high-powered Shepard offense to 13 points and 245 total yards. Clinging to a 2013 fourth quarter lead, the Lions sealed the win with a late interception by Dorsey Norris. The turnover set up a 35-yard field goal by Kevin Hickey with 240 remaining. Senior quarterback Jacob Tucker rushed for 113 yards and a touchdown. He threw for another 178 yards and a score. Junior receiver Dre Hall caught seven passes for 112 yards and a touchdown. It was his school record fifth 100-yard game of the season and 11th of his career. His touchdown reception also tied a career record with 23. Championship game information can be found at RoarLines.com, including online ticket and hotel purchases, fan bus information, and an on-site pep rally info. On the hardwood, John L. Guinea scored 16 points against Huntington to lead the Lions to an 87-61 victory. 11 other players scored for UNA, which improved to 5-2 on the season. Austin Timms added 13 points, while Marik Lee Falk scored 10 points for UNA. The Lions will return to GSC play Thursday at home against West Alabama. Tip-off for the women's game is set for 6 p.m., with the men's game set to follow. Thank you for joining us on this edition of the UNA Week in Review, presented by Lions HR. I'm Shane Herman. Stay up to date with all of UNA athletics by going to www.roarlines.com. <laughs>